Hello, folks, and welcome back. We are here inside of Celeste. I am... Special brew is just for you. Uh, I am mad because we don't get any sort of... Ugh. We don't get any... Extra potions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just level up once, walk out, buy more potions, level up once, walk out, buy more potions. And just keep up that process until I have myself all juiced up on some nice black potions that we can use. Fine armor for sale. Hello. Aww. It's not a replacement for his helmet. That would have been so nice too, a noble plate mill of armor. Like, plus 20 to armor skill. That would have been awesome. All right, hand stuff off. <laughs> and yeah, not much to it. I can't that. identify that. So, 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 this I'm keeping. This I'm enchanting. This I'm enchanting. This I'm keeping. This I am selling. This I am keeping. This I am selling. This I am keeping, this I am selling, or keeping, selling. How am I even keeping track of all this? I have no idea. You're welcome for my- Well. <laughs> One second, gotta quick organize my inventory. Oh, that season stole. I have to give that back to who now? Before I forget to train up, ah, return to Gary Zim in the Bracadon Desert. You, day of protection. Now. Oh, oops, it's day of the gods. Uh, also, turn on the lights, because apparently this is indoors for whatever reason. And as soon as he recovers... Down we go. Oh, also, fly. Oh, that's right, this is indoors, it's not outdoors. Whee! This place respawned, which means more horseshoes for me. Horseshoes are always nice. There, six more skill points if we ever need them. And... Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Whoa. Okay, so Zim. I need to find the Zim residence, wherever that might be. Ah, no, wait, I remember. For certain now. It was somewhere around here. I know this isn't the house, but one of them is. Identify a master, a master. It's one of these houses up here. I think it's this one, in fact. Smiling Jacks? No, this isn't it. Yeah, this place just needs to follow the next one. But I know I'm close. It's probably this place. No, is this the Guild of Illumination? I could have sworn this was a house. Yeah, here we are. Excellent! This most certainly is a season stole. Here is your award. You've done both the School of Sorcery and myself a great source. 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 That's all, folks. So yes, money. I will take it. More money. I will take it too. Griffins, I will kill you. As soon as I cast our power. So, um... I'm just out here killing stuff on my face. Yes! Just killing them for their experience points. Okay, we're pretty good on everything. Just hand stuff off to be ID and then sold. <laughs> There's no room. There we go. 
and we'll Tom Portal back up this quest. Where we will sell our stuff off, hopefully. Oh, come on. Get out of my way, would you? Sell this stuff off, and we'll go train. Oh wait, I keep forgetting too. Before we go train, we have to fine sell. armor for sale. So, monks, rangers, boots. How can you have monks, rangers, boots? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this game continues to astound me with its random name generation. Sell this. No, don't, no, don't sell that. That's useful. No, that's not useful. This is useful. Sell this. Uh, keep hold of that. Sell cure insanity. Keep hold of power cure. Uh, sell starburst. Sell crazy. Sell our power. Sell raise dead. Uh, I'll keep raise dead. It's a good one. I hope I have been of service. Can I help you find something? Return soon, my friend. All right, and then we'll teleport out to wrong place. Misclick on my part. Sorry. Hi, how are you? Cast town portal out to Erathia. So we head over here. Sell this off. Hi, how are you? Can I help you with anything? Sell this off. Bork, bork, you bork, bork. This red apple is beyond your meager knowledge. Thanks. Come again. Hey. Well, this should be the last place that we have. There should be. Uh, that should have been the last place back there in the pit. Save our game. And let's talk to the nice lady. Congratulations! You have become the Archimage champion. The price, the prize is waiting in the chest right outside my house. And then she gives us a hundred thousand gold pieces. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The Mind's Eye. Plus 15 intellect, plus 15 personality, regenerate SP, and it's human. Mind's Eye was created by Mikorg the Great Druid, Lar er, for the Great Druid Laret Weissman. While enhancing both intellect and personality, Mind's Eye provides the wearer's mana, or regenerates the wearer's mana, and also provides head protection. Unfortunately, Mind's Eye will only fit on the head of a human. Give that to her. What a piece of junk. Hmm. Hmm. Forge Gauntlets. Uh, 30 fire resistance, 15 might, 15 endurance, and only for dwarves. Forge Gauntlets were created by McCorg for his assistance to aid him, aid them in helping him. Extending the already amazing dwarven might, and endurance. The gauntlets also grant exceptional resistance to fire. Necessary in a forge is Haas McCorgs. And two of Stalt Lace Door. A small chunk of Stalt Lace Door. Easy to enchant and as hard as obsidian. In the hands of skilled craftsmen, Stalt could make an incredibly powerful weapon, an amulet, a ring, armor, or almost any other item. And a club. Hmm. <laughs> and Deadly Swarm. And a brass ring. And Elfbane. A two handed sword. Of shielding, elf slayer, and goblin. This sword was created by the goblins for their chief at the time, Grogar. Unfortunately, the goblins lost the war, and Elfbane was lost for quite some time. Enchanted to slay elves and protect its wielder from arrows, Elfbane truly lives up to its name. A curious side effect of the enchantment renders a weapon unusable by all but a goblin. And elven chainmail. Uh, plus 30, a recovery, plus 15 speed, plus 15 accuracy, elven. Elven chainmail was more common before the wars against the humans and the goblins. Centuries of combat, combined with the degradation of armor smithing skills, have reduced the number of sets of chainmail to almost none. The effect of using lighter materials and custom designing the armor to only fit the elves grants the wearer more freedom of movement, allowing faster, more accurate attacks. And it's a recovery, plus 15 speed, plus 15 accuracy, and only elven. But she can't wear it, so... Which is... I can't use that. Which is kind of really stupid, because, you know, Elven Chainmail, it's... You know, it's kind of the de facto...